The interesting part about being a painter is that I get to do what I want. I come in the studio and I paint. I was raised in a small town right on Route 66. It was surrounded by the Navajo Reservation, the Zuni. And I went to a Native American art school. So most of my life I've been around American Indian people and that influenced the way I thought and the way that I worked as an artist. The Native American ritualistic work was changing, became much more abstract. The concepts remained the same. They dealt with nature, they dealt with the spiritual, but then they translated into the abstract forms and shapes that I was employing. I don't really have a um, objective to create the great American Indian painting. It kind of happens just through the process of mixing a, you know, the right color blue, right color teal, and then putting it right up against you know, an alizarin crimson, and then working in some you know, golds. And, and then the next thing is the subject matter emerges. And then it becomes more interesting because as that changes and evolves, then it defines itself as uh, seen from a Navajo creation myth. It becomes an ancestral spirit. It will become a sense of place in the landscape. I work a lot from just the imagination, but it comes from someplace, the information. It's kind of like, you know, with your dreams, you have experiences throughout your day and then you don't really remember a lot of it. And then it comes to you, you know, four years later or something. It's, it's uh, archived and when I see it, I'll jump right on it. They come from a very particular period in American art history where painting was just part of, you know, getting dirty and, you know, splattering and dripping and, uh, you know, smelling and stinking like paint, and that was cool. As a painter, I'm influenced by my environment. The landscapes were stimulated by, like, really being and seeing, like, cloudscapes you know, great vista of just, uh, you know, blues and celadon greens and uh, watching like the sky move, like just slowly. The way that I work when I decide I'm coming into the studio is without any real game plan. I am, you know, just sort of intuitive. I don't go in there with sketchbooks. I go in there with a brush and a cup of coffee, and then the rest just happens. Some days are like I'm right on, and I'm just like I can do five, six starts of paintings, and the beginnings are all really just, just making a lot of sense. And then I can put them aside, and then I have a chance to look and say, well, what direction could this go? Can I direct that? It's like taking a hike maybe sometimes. You just sort of follow the trail, and you can get off that trail, and you can sit and stop and start, and then eventually you come back with some sort of adventure you've been on. The process is, is very difficult for me to define other than that I know that it happens as a, you know, a, a, a really inspired ex experience.